Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's my second video here on the YouTube. We have a special guest to start the video intro. We have my baby boy Tanner here. Say hi Tanner. Hi Tanner, oh my goodness. He's so cute. Okay, you can get down. <laughs> Alright, so today I wanted to focus a little bit more on my favorite part of makeup, which is the eyes. So my last video did kind of a full face tutorial, foundation, eyebrows, lipstick, highlighter, all that jazz. So today I just want to focus on one component, the eyes, and um, do two different looks for you today. So I'm going to do a crazy kind of colorful look on one eye. Oh, we have a visitor. We have so, <laughs> we have so many animals here. Say hi Kiki. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting distracted. So on one eye, I'm going to do a kind of colorful, kind of adventurous look. And then on the other eye, I'm going to do more of a neutral everyday look. So hopefully everybody can find a look that they like in this video. And I'm going to make it even more convenient because I'm going to do one palette. So I'm going to do two eyes, one palette. And what I'm going to be doing or using today is the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, this is through Morphe. This is my Holy Grail palette. I love this palette. If you are looking for an eyeshadow palette for just everyday use for traveling, this is the one to go to. Um, and you're about to see here in a little bit how much I've used it. It's a little bit messy in here. So this is what it looks like inside. There are 35 shades and it's $38 and you can get this online at Morphe. You can get it in Ulta. I think I got picked it up in a The cat is, <laughs> anyway, so this is um, what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to do kind of a two looks, one palette. There are way more than two looks that you can get with this palette. So I went ahead and did my full face uh, off camera before starting. I did exactly the same routine that I did in my last video so I can put that link down below in the description if you're interested in, in knowing the, the routine that I did for my foundation but I use the exact same products the only difference that I did and this time around is I'm using a different lip product than my last video I am actually wearing ColourPop the Ultra, Ultra Satin lip in the shade Magic Wand so Anyway, we can go ahead and we'll get started. We'll do the neutral eye first. So I haven't planned anything. I don't have any eye looks planned. So we're gonna see how this goes. And if it goes badly, I'll edit it out. <laughs> so I am going to start with one of these kind of perfect transition shades on the top. This one is called Silk Cream. And I am taking that on one of my Urban Decay brushes that I got with the palette back in the day. And we are going to put that in the crease here. These red shades are kind of speaking to me with the fall. So I think I'm going to go in first and I'm going to grab, eh, I'll just use the same brush, what the heck. I'm going to go in with this red shade up here. This is called Hunt, like ketchup, and it's very true to the name. This one is so pigmented, so it's going to get a little bit crazy here. Oh yeah. This red is beautiful. So 
I think the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the color below that. This is in the shade Jax. So I am going to put this red color. So this is even darker than the one that we last put. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. And we are just kind of patting that in for now and then I'm gonna go in and blend. And then I'm also gonna put that on the inner corner. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do next is grab one of my cheapo brushes and then I am going to grab that bright red again. I'm gonna blend it a little bit with that darker burgundy. Um, Next, what I'm going to do is grab that same cheapo brush I had before. And I'm going to go in a little bit with that first shade that we used in the, the crease. And I am just going to kind of, I want to soften that Hunt's color, that really bright red, a little bit. So, what I'm going to do here next, I'm going to grab a little bit of my sharp tape, tart shape tape. I'm going to grab a little packer brush. This is one I got in my boxy charm. I featured it in my last video. And I am going to just pack that directly in the middle here. I'm going to grab a little bit of this gold color here. This is called Queen. Yes, Queen. It's beautiful cold. Cold. If you haven't figured it out by now, I can't pronounce words very well, so bear with me. So it's this beautiful gold color, and we're going to put that right in the middle here. Grab that first brush, or not the first brush, this is the brush I used that deep burgundy one with. We're going to grab that deeper burgundy color below the Hunt's color. And we are just going to smooth the transition between. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a the Alamar. This is also featured in my last video. And I'm gonna grab the shade beside that deeper burgundy. This is called Roxane. And I am just going to very gently use that color to just blend everything out. So next what I'm going to do is eyeliner before we do the bottom lashes and mascara and everything before we take the tape off. I am just going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Liner and I am going to try a wing look today so bear with me. <laughs> so we just start out here. I'm gonna just take this off here. I got my elf smudge, smudge brush, and then I just like to go in with a black eyeshadow. We'll use this one on the bottom right. This is called Abyss. Ugh, that's dark. And I just like to go over my liquid liner just to like smooth it out a little bit because I'm not the best with liquid liner. Maybe we're gonna just go in on the bottom lash line here. So we're going to go in with that burgundy color. The faces we make putting on makeup. Grabbing that small little brush, we're going to go back in with that black that we did for the wing. 
and I'm gonna bring that just down a little bit. I'm gonna go in with that gold shade we used in the middle, and we're gonna put it in the middle here, and then we're gonna go back in with that burgundy brush, and we're just gonna kind of replicate that halo eye on the bottom here. Okay. And then I'm grabbing the other side of one of my Urban Decay brushes and I am going to go with this beautiful shiny white shimmery shade called Beam and we're going to just put this in the very inner corner. I'm going to use that same Beam color up underneath my eyebrow. Now, I look like a hot mess from the far back because of the fallout, so I'm going to grab a little bit of some concealer. Just setting that with powder since we re applied some concealer there. And I feel like I'm still not happy with the blending underneath. So I'm putting just some black eyeshadow that we use in the wing and just putting it very gently underneath. Okay, yeah. I think that pulled it, definitely pulled it together and allowed you to smoke it out on the bottom. Last thing that we will do on this eye is just mascara. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof Mascara. I like how this is supposed to be like my everyday eye. Okay, well I think this eye is complete here. So we can move on and try another look on this eye. I'm going to start with this purple. This purple is called Royalty. And then we, I'm just going to use a little packer brush. So I'm going to put this actually on the lid. This beautiful purple color. Um, we're gonna try something here. So I'm gonna go in with this must oh the creamsicle yellow up here, and I'm gonna go in the crease now with that yellow color, and we're gonna blend that in with the purple here. I'm gonna go back with that purple. I kind of want to bring it out further. I'm kind of tracing out where we went with that creamsicle. We're going to get a little weird here. And we're going to do this blue color between the two. And this is called Twerk. Twerk. So this is the only twerking going on in this video. <laughs> I'm going to go back with the purple and we're just going to darken it up here in the front. So we're going to grab in this very back bottom corner this black. And we're just going to put this in the outer corner. So I'm just kind of blending. All three shades here. Definitely dramatic. We thought this eye was dramatic girl. Alright, so I think I want to brighten up the corner a little bit. So I'm going to grab this shiny shade called Obsessed. 
And we are gonna grab the little side of that Urban Decay brush. That's pretty. So I'm gonna go in with that Wet and Wild again. We're gonna do another wing liner on this eye. gonna do that same thing I did earlier. We're gonna use that little elf small smudgy smudge brush. I almost feel like these looks like fire nice. What I kind of like about this look is how there's really only one purple in this palette, that little shimmery. But just with blending and mixing different colors, we created like a very light lavender, like very light lavender, a medium lavender, a dark purple, and then like a medium purple. All right, we're gonna go to the bottom lash line. We're gonna grab a just a smaller brush, and we're gonna go in with that royalty purple color. I'm going to grab my handy dandy Urban Decay brush that we've been using and we're going to go in with that same obsessed color and meet that with the purple. Then I'm going to grab the small smudge brush that we used for the eyeliner and grab some black eyeshadow. Okay, so since we, since I forgot to use that tape, that's just where we need to clean up a little bit here. Pretty easy to do. Just put like a couple little dots of concealer there. And I like to use um, a little concealer brush. Just a little bit of some studying powder. Last thing we'll do on this eye is we will just put some mascara on. I'm actually going to go back with that Urban Decay brush that we use so much. And I'm going to go in with Beam, this white shade up here. Um, I just forgot to highlight underneath the brow. So, just put a little bit underneath. The brow there. So since I don't have false lashes and I'm not very good at applying them, I just like to curl them. All right. Now I can say I think that is the finished look here. So. I know I said I was going to do like a not dramatic one, but I think they both kind of ended up dramatic. So I think I need to think of a new title because this is not very neutral. Um, I mean, it's a little bit chiller. I don't know what I'm doing. So these are the complete looks. So I'll come a little bit closer here. So this one, I'll do, I'll do like those little faces. No, I can't do it. <laughs> so these, this is kind of the, the halo, the tamer eye with the burgundy wing liner. Beautiful. I totally bullcrapped this and just went, went with it, but it turned out, this is like one of my favorite looks I think I've done. And then this one is purple and super shimmery. Try to get that where the camera or the lights still on it. <laughs> you can, ah! 
I'm trying to fool you that I have like this cool backdrop but we're in my closet. <laughs> There's so many more looks you can do than, than what I did today. You can do much more everyday looks, much more neutral looks. You can really do whatever your heart desires with this palette, which is amazing. Well, if you like this video, make sure to click the like button, subscribe to my channel for future videos. I'm, I'm new to the YouTube gang, but I've been enjoying it so far and been appreciating all the support that everybody's been giving me. Um, and I, I enjoy doing makeup, so hopefully I can keep coming out with videos for you guys every once in a while. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you guys next time. Bye fam.